Hello everyone! After the previous class that we worked on a valuation model to discuss that model's strong and weak points, many of the students asked how we can create the sensitivity analysis table without, of course, manually computing and entering all the values in each cell. I promised I would create a video explaining this, so here you go. Well, the good news is that it's super simple using Excel. All you need is to decide which are the two inputs you would like to use in your sensitivity analysis. It's common to use the cost of capital or WAC and the perpetual growth rates as two variables using which we run our sensitivity analysis. After you decided about which variables you would like to use, you need to think of reasonable ranges around the baseline values. Here, the baseline was 3.5% for the perpetual growth rates. So uh, let's use uh, 0 uh, to 5% here. And our WAC was 9.7% in the baseline. So we use 8 to 12%. We want to see what happens to the value per share using different combinations of the two input variables. Obviously, we, we should know that perpetual growth rate of 3.5% with the WAC of 9.5% should give us the baseline value per share of 25. So, the first step after setting up such a table is to link the corner cell to your output, which in uh, here is value per share, which is in the cell D32. This step is crucial to be done. Of course, if it bothers you to see it here, you can choose the white uh, font color and it will disappear. Then you select the whole table, including this corner and the row and the column of uh, the input variables. Then you go to data, what if analysis, then a data table. Here it will ask you to specify what the row input is. Since this row is uh, the perpetual growth rate and the perpetual growth rate in the model is in D21, uh, I choose that uh, which shows up here, of course. Now I need to also say what the column input is, which is a WAC, and that is recorded in the cell D22 in this model. Then I click on OK, and magically the sensitivity table is done. In another video, we discuss what are the issues with this type of sensitivity analysis and how we can improve on it significantly. I hope this was useful for you and have a great day.